Hello everyone, welcome to Build the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. I got a whole bunch of yellow boxes recently, straight from the United States of good old America. A whole bunch in one hit. Let's just rip through them. Um, I'm guessing these are sort of early 90s at a guess, maybe late 80s, I'm not sure. I was always used to the dark blue boxes um, in the late 80s or I stopped collecting the first time sort of mid 80s and they were light blue boxes going into the dark blue boxes um, 308 Ferrari there now there's probably a whole bunch of US only releases seeing as these are US um, issue Ooh, 57 Chev the original of this was in that dusty rose metallic, wasn't it? I've purposely not brought out any variants today. We don't need the boxes, they're all fairly dull. They just print the uh, number and model on the end. Sometimes it's legible, sometimes not. 5070 bird, number 42 here. I don't care for these boxes, but uh, I'll keep them. Some of them, uh, some of these cars I already have, and they're already spoken for. They won't even touch the bottom of the swapper box <laughs> because uh, I've had the vultures around over a few beers and they've uh, already picked through. I won't bother reading the, uh, or trying to read the, the description on the end of the box either. Just rip right into them. That's when this first got funky. Remember? The uh, normal Challenger without the big wheels at the back uh, was red with white vinyl roof. You can get a white vinyl roof on this, they're rare. Um, that's the mustardy coloured one I think. And different interior, all sorts of things going on. I have to say, I don't have too many of those, maybe eight or nine variants of that one. But I'm still looking for a whole bunch of them. But that's what keeps us going. Um, decals on this one are fairly straight, fairly neat. There's a few imperfections along the, the window vent or grill, or whatever. But usually these are pretty screwed up, just in the manufacturing process. But that's a really nice one. Fair bit of suspension. Let's get some big boxes open. Ah, I almost swapped this. It was almost spoken for, and then I realised it's got Lesney England on the base. 1981 copyright. But it confused me because if these are US boxes and um, Universal and who else? Tyco um, took over, and then Mattel, and they all sort of changed it up where they were made. And yet, here's one made in England. I don't get it. More research needed. Maybe you know. Maybe you can drop it in the comments as to why the US issue comes from England. This one is not going to be swapped because I haven't seen it yet. Um, again, England on the base. What's going on? Is there something I'm missing? There's always something I'm missing. There's always a piece of the puzzle that hasn't fallen into place. Harley Davidson with this rider. And normally it is with this rider. Is he missing something off his hand or is that how it's supposed to be? I don't know. Um, you know the uh, policeman type bit that goes on the, um, the motorcycle even stands up. Slightly out of scale, isn't he? Who else? Oh, I love this thing. Police. I'm doing a, um, a big video, a long video on convoys. They're just to my right, even as we're speaking. And there's a whole bunch of them. And also, not just convoys, but the action pack in the same box. You know, the light blue, I'll show you one. 
Oops. These type of boxes. I've got a whole bunch of them to show you, but I'll do a, a big video on it. You'll love it. But uh, maybe, ooh, dozens of these to show you. I'll try and get a picture in picture going for you. It's so time consuming, but it's worth it. So satisfying to to see it back and um, catalogue all the lovely, joyous cars I have. Um, I think I have this one. I'll have to check. Um, yeah, there's many variants of the NASA tracking station or command center. Just where they place the NASA and everything else. I have to check. I think there's a couple of this. I already have it, so they're getting swapped out for other things. Although you've got to be careful. You know, there's subtle changes like the wheel variations and. Here we have the five arches, both back and front. I think that's where they came out in. I'm probably wrong. It's going to be a sea of empty yellow boxes. Oh, is this England? No, see, this is made in Macau. Kooky, huh? And of course you get chromed exhaust stacks, non-chromed exhaust stacks. Made in Macau, made in England, and made in, where else, China. It's a mystery. Big Pete. Might have to scooch these yellow boxes off to one side. Oh, it's the Baghdad Bang Bandag Bullet Bandit. Jesus. Um, I saw this in real life, or a version of it, at the Quinana Speedway. Might not have even been the Quinana Speedway because we're talking late eighties. Ah, uh, it wouldn't have been Quinana Speedway. That was built long after I saw. So uh, Ravenswood, south of Perth, here in Western Australia. And they did a big burnout and everyone yahooed and got drunk. You know how it happens. Swingwind Jack. This would have been a really odd casting by the time these yellow boxes came out. And there's a blue one in here too somewhere. Um, the Bulldozer, which is one of my all-time favourite castings. This makes it into my top 400. I always uh, fail to mention that the Ultimate Matchbox car collection consists of 400 cars or thereabouts from my childhood. Um, this is one of them. I'm not actually trying to get 15,000 cars. I've got somewhere between 10 and 15,000 at the moment. The idea was never to have quantity, it was to have my old 400 cars back. Cherokee quad track on the side. It's a beauty. This is my Christmas. The orange Baja Bouncer. The original was blue with white accent. Now we have orange with white accent. And then they uh, Put much bigger wheels on and called it the flare side. Actually, this is called the flare side pickup, isn't it? Yeah, flare side. Maybe there's another name to the one with the bigger wheels. I can't remember. But it's strange to see them only do two colours of that one with the, um, the old style wheels. Sunburner didn't get much of a show, did it? I think there's only two variants. Ooh, is that imperfection? Maybe. Quick, swap it. Yeah, for some reason, maybe they had issues. Maybe something went wrong with the die, whatever. Never really minded it, but uh, yeah. Me. I think the effect of having many, many variants is the interest goes up, doesn't it? You just want them all. Whereas if, like this one, there was only a few, it's like, me. Yeah. Take it or leave it. What's this in here? Oh, the Honda Aurora. Uh, got that dude again. See? Same dude. First look, his helmet's a bit too low. Needs to go on a safety course. I think I have this in red. I know it came out in green. I don't think I have that one. Problem is with the collection. Bit of a rubber band issue there. That should just pick off. 
problem with having so many cars and always looking out for ones I don't have I surf eBay as we'll do I'm sure and um, you see so many variants and then you get confused later on uh, oh that hand is supposed to be like that Whoa, look at that. He's doing tricks. He's even got some rubber band around his ankle. I'll clear that up in my own time. Can you see? No, he can stand there. Um, you get confused as to what you actually have in your collection, don't you? The Sorba, Bosch, and Castrol, and Dunlop. All sorts of. Uh, Sponsors. You can tell I'm, I'm slipping into dreamland because <laughs> I go quiet now and again. Oh, we've got to step back. Or actually, we won't step back. We'll just be uncouth. And Aurora's Kamigatsa. Huh. The um, suspension on both ends is supposed to be like that, but sometimes it's a bit flat. Always check your suspension before you purchase. <laughs> um, I always thought this colour scheme on the Firebird was a little bit washed out. I like the darker red. and I've got a, a blue base going on. I like that one much more. Again, the suspension's a bit flat. It's like he went over the speed humps too fast and wrecked his back end. Um, blue flame Corvette and I think the box is wrong I actually have the blue flame and it says blue flame on it whereas this one doesn't that's okay I think I've got that one too so now this one I thought I had I don't uh, I kind of do it's a fairly obscure variant my one has um, amber tinted windows and this one has clear windows um, and there was a bit of discussion as to whether it was worth hanging on to for the variant or not because somebody wanted it seemingly more than I did but I don't know, we'll see we'll see what he's got to swap me the Porsche racer I think the box said super racer but this is just a racing Porsche 93 something or other 5 I think plenty of colours of that one um, the tricky one with that is getting it in the um, action sets to get the variants. Corvette in the pace car. Let's see if the suspension is a bit naff. No, that's better. Yeah, that's great. I have a red one that just seems to keep on bouncing. That's part of the appeal. Unbelievably, got uh, doubles and stuff this old. Just in case you have the memory of a goldfish, I'll show you. <laughs> Audi Quattro. Sometimes it's easy to read that and sometimes it's a bit half-baked. like that. Feels like uh, one of the first three of this one. There was a dark, dark mm, maroon. Metal base, fantastic. I love that I run out of room. I wish it didn't happen so fast, but it just means so many things have been added to the collection. Not this one though, it's the third. So um, the traders will be happy. The people that want what I've got will be happy. Oh, the old Ferrero GT. It's maybe the original color i think there was a splash of blue on one of the very first ones there's a black one and a dragon racing team and a few not many to collect if you're trying to finish that one finish it and collect all complete good vibrations and the sun-kissed orange soda it's a cheap way of saying fanta um there's a few scrapes on this one do we have playwear Mm, maybe, don't know. It's the old piston popper, isn't it? It's a beauty. 
I've got to pick up the pace. A bit, a bit conventional. Yeah, that's a good looker. Love my Peterbilts. That's great. Hmm. Definitely should have had that in the collection before now, but that's the first one I've seen. Oh. And I thought I had much more to open, but I'm just sort of putting the empty boxes. Yeah. They have to be like lemmings, lemmings off the cliff. Clean is just about to walk in. As soon as I turn off the camera, I'm her. Oh, him! Don't be sexist. <laughs> Housekeeping, RX7, Mazda. There's a few livery changes on this one. I'm searching for the steering wheel on the wrong side of the car again. <laughs> Got to be so careful with those doors. I don't like opening them. Nice heavy vehicle, that one. Got an empty. Got a very battered about box. It's, it's worth opening the LTD cop car. See the radar attached to the vehicle. They don't need anything like that anymore, do they? I heard uh, it was an anecdote, a rumor. I don't know. Let's call it a rumor. Somebody that knew someone that went to the States years ago reckoned um, they don't use handheld speed cameras over there. Um, they did for a little bit, but some cop got shot. Um, someone just slung his shotgun out the driver's window and blew him away because uh, he thought it was a handgun being pointed at him. And allegedly, well, not allegedly even, it's rumoured that he got off for it because he was in, he thought he was defending himself. I don't know if that's true. I know America loves its guns, but I'm not sure if that's true. Good story anyway. The Willies. Dragster with a painted base and Madden Macau. It's a bit rough too. I wonder if mine has a painted base. I'll check. Ah, another one. Oh, I was told about this. Yes. Yeah, the first thing to go on these is the rubber track, but um, this outfit will sell you some tracks. Now this is the first set I've ever bought. This is the first time I've ever tried to doctor up a car or a vehicle. So I'll give it a whirl. Um, apparently you chuck it in some warm water and stretch it on. And as it cools down it, it fits lovely. I'm not sure if these are specifically for this. Probably not actually. But I'll give it a whirl. Mm, no, maybe not. Uh, I'll give it a whirl anyway. I'm not sponsored by this outfit, in, but um, I thought I'd I'd flash it up on screen in case you were wondering if you can fix those things. I'm yet to find out if I can, but we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Another Tyrone Maloon. See, they do name stuff after me. <laughs> Super Boss. It's a white version of the black one I showed you. That's another one I'm not sure if there are any variants to collect, but there sure are variants of this sucker. There's a lot of them. The Super Gas here in the Peterbilt tanker. 1981 in Macau. See? England, Macau, China. Macau, is that part of China now? Like Hong Kong? I went to Macau just to see the casinos. Ooh. 18, 20 years ago now. Now, speaking of variants, I've mentioned it before. It's worth mentioning it again. See that shovel? You can get one with the shovel on that plinth, as seen here, and the shovel plinthless. So if you want to go nuts, go nuts. Get two of everything. There'll be about 40 of these in your collection if you do that. And I'm still not... Um, the full bottle of uh, if I'm going to do it or not. I do have some variants with plinth and without plinth, but <laughs> I'm not fully committed to to do the whole range. I haven't completely lost my mind yet. 
Oh, it's a double. Not too many variants of this, I think. Um, it's all about the, the jet set. Some have it and some don't. There may be variants just with that or not, I don't know. But that one stuck around forever, didn't it, that casting? The Chabonneau's tractor. That's probably the original colouring, isn't it? Maybe a different shade yellow. But there's a whole range of other colours with that. Oh, one of my old time favourite. This little fella in brown, um, which I don't have yet. I'm still on the lookout. Then I get distracted by uh, many other things. Um, I have the green one, I have the red one. Um, I'm told there are interior variants and all kinds of things going on. But the brown one is in my top 400 or my 400 Ultimate Matchbox car collection when I find it. But it got a rough life when I had it the first time round, or the only time round. The next time will be next. Oh. As the rain comes down. I wonder if you can hear that through the mic. It's heavy rain out there. I have a, a thing about rain at the moment as we look at another road construction vehicle and the excavator. I have a thing about rain at the moment because it had been, I think, four months without it, which gets pretty dull. And now my water tanks are filling up. The Viper. Again, I'm surprised that that stuck around for so long. Can't imagine it was that popular. But once you've made the, the castings, you really should run with it, I suppose. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. Use this. Oh, the red truck. Yeah. Again, the variants are the chrome and unchromed exhaust stack. The booms are different. Paint job, obviously. Eddie's Wrecker was the original one. Back in when? 81? Something like that. 82? But plenty of things to chase for that one. And they look great in the line. So do these. Um, one of my previous videos, just recently, um, I hauled out all of these. <laughs> uh, you know, any chance I get. But um, this is one of the easier ones to get. Um, sorry if you don't have it yet, but they are should be easy to get. Made in China on the base. I like it. Always have. Not this livery, but you know, this crazy car, the Dodge Traxster. Ah, a double. I'll have to. Ooh, ooh, look. Amber windows, clear windows. Am I that hardcore? Would you keep both? Hmm. That's a dilemma. It's more than my tiny brain can handle at the moment. Policeman. Ah, oh, that's the cop I was telling you about. See? I want the Harley with the, um, the police dude on it because he doesn't you know is he a policeman or is he is that how you used to dress when you got on your motorbike you know what I'm saying it would look good on there in in that color but I like the police bike oh speaking of like I love this one Now the original was the orange with the stripes and there's many many variants of what color stripes your orange van gets and then they jacked it up uh, and there's ooh, countless probably I would guess 20 25 variants of the jacked up one so lots to keep us busy and broke but you got to spend your money on something the mountain man the open back truck did they call that one Ooh. Mini pickup. Yeah, that's mint. That's mint. Sweet. Ooh. 
running out of room real fast. This is a beat up old box. I think the vehicle is okay though. Yeah. Another Peterbilt and this one Macau Base. Still clinging on to the 1981 copyright. But Macau was a bit later in the piece, wasn't it? I have one. Um, see how the paint jobs are. Oh, there's a double. See how the paint job on both of them is a bit screwy. Um, I have a different one that's a bit metallic. Very much the same colour, but metallic. So I'm not sure what they were doing. Maybe they were experimenting on colour runs. And the, the world of variants gets kind of muddy. The Flame Out version of the Red Rider. I'll go over these with a fine tooth comb because um, I don't care how small the variant is or the variation is, um, I'd hang on to it because, you know, I've got a, a separate area in my collection just for those ones and it's filling up fast. Ooh, that's a triple, I think. Maybe not. Maybe a double. No, it is a triple. It's truth. And last one to show you today. Oh, oldie but a goodie. Seriously, one of my favourite. I call it the Toyota Hilux. They don't. What do they call it? Open back truck. 4x4 four four open back truck. And that's, that's just mint. There's probably going to be a few upgrades to my collection because occasionally you see a little chip that you didn't notice before and you think, who's been playing with my collection? As we have to take a, a little step back, go upstairs and take a pan around. The mess. Guess what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the afternoon. Lovely rainy afternoon to be doing it too. Sorting out homes for the non-swappers and checking to see if I have the exact one on the table. And if not, I'm keeping them all. <laughs> Great to have you along with me on this little ride, this little journey through this section of the Matchbox car collection. Don't touch each other, it makes me nervous. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.